हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू रयत ऑनलाइन स्कूल एजुकेशन प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज द रोज प्रोजेक्ट कंडक्टेड बाय रयत शिक्षण संस्था सतारा सदगुरु गाड़गे महाराज कॉलेज कराड़ कंडक्टेड हियर ट्वेल्थ रोज प्रोजेक्ट 2021 टू थाउजंड टू टू माय सेल्फ मिस मोहिते पी एस माय सब्जेक्ट इज अ बायोलॉजी माय टॉपिक नेम इज अ एनहांसमेंट ऑफ अ फूड प्रोडक्शन दिस इज अवर थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ एनहांसमेंट ऑफ अ फूड प्रोडक्शन इन दिस लेक्चर वी स्टडी एनिमल हजबंड्री एनिमल हजबंड्री इज एन एग्रीकल्चरल प्रैक्टिस ऑफ अ ब्रीडिंग एंड अ रेजिंग लिव स्टॉक एनिमल हजबंड्री डील्स विथ केयर एंड ब्रीडिंग ऑफ अ लिव स्टॉक लाइक बफेलोज काउज पिग्स हॉर्सेस कैटल्स शिप्स कैमल गोट्स एट्सेट्रा विच आर यूजफुल टू ह्यूमन इट ऑल्सो इन्क्लूड्स पोल्ट्री फार्मिंग फिश फार्मिंग बी कीपिंग सेरिकल्चर लैक कल्चर एट्सेट्रा एनिमल्स लाइक हनी बीज सिल्कवर्म्स प्रॉन्स क्रैप्स बर्ड्स फिशेस पिग्स कैटल्स शिप्स एंड कैमल्स हैव बीन यूज बाय ह्यूमन्स फॉर द प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक मिल्क एग्स मीट उल हनी सिल्क एट्सेट्रा गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड हियर मैनेजमेंट ऑफ फार्म्स एंड फार्म एनिमल्स वी आर फैमिलियर टू फार्म्स एंड फार्म एनिमल्स सी हियर फार्म मैनेजमेंट स्टार्ट्स from selection of high yielding breeds their food requirements supply of adequate nutritional sources cleanliness of the environment and maintenance of health <coughs> management of farm animals includes veterinary veterinary supervisions vaccination high yielding cross breed development production and preservation of products distribution and marketing go to the next slide breed here a group of animals related by descent and similar in a most characters like general appearance features size configuration etc are said to be belong to a breed here animal breeding is done for getting improved breeds with desirable qualities of products and to increase yield of animals desirable characters such as increased production of milk quality of product quality of meat or maximum yield of eggs per year etc are necessarily achieved through animal breeding breeding can be of two main types that is the first type is a inbreeding and second type is a outbreeding go to the next slide firstly we see first type that is inbreeding it involves breeding of a closely related individuals for 4 to 6 generations 
Inbreeding is helpful in elimination harmful recessive genes and for the accumulation of superior genes. Inbreeding has the demerit that it usually reduces the fertility and productivity. Second type is outbreeding. In outbreeding, it involves breeding of unrelated animals. The animals may be of the same breed but having no common ancestors for four to six generations. Go to next slide. Outcrossing involves breeding between the animals of a different species. It is also known as a interspecific hybridization. Crossbreeding involves the breeding of a superior male of one breed with superior female of another breed. That is the example is Hizardale is new breed of sheep developed from crossing of Bikaneri Ew and Merino rams in Punjab. Go to next slide. <clears throat> Interspecific hybridization involves breeding of animals of two different but related species. It results in the formation of animals with desirable characters from both the parents, but such a breeding is not always successful. Example, mule is a breed obtained from horse and, and donkey. <coughs> Artificial insemination technique involves controlled breeding experiments. Here we see <coughs> artificial insemination technique. In this technique, semen from selected superior males is collected and preserved in a frozen state or injected into genital tract immediately. Multiple ovulation embryo transfer. In this technique, involves, it is also called as a MOET, involves the technology which provides the chances of a successful production of a hybrids. This technique is successfully used in cattle, sheep, rabbits, buffaloes, etc. Go to next slide. <coughs> Here, next point is a dairy farm management. Dairy industry involves production, processing and distribution of milk and milk products. Milk yield mainly depends on the quality of breeds in the farm. In India, six breeds occur, Wizard, Zafrabadi, Mehsana, Murah, Nagpuri, Nili, Surati, which are all good milk producer. These are the buffaloes breeds. We are familiar that Zafrabadi, Mahisana, Mura, Nakuri, Nili, Surti. Quality and quantity of fodder in proper ratio should be given. Silage made from legumes and grasses. Maize and jowar makes good feed. Cleanliness and hygiene of the cattle and handlers is of more importance while milking, storage and transport of milk and milk products. The shed must be cleaned daily. It should be spacious with adequate facilities for feeding, watering and lightening. Silage made from legumes and grasses, maize and jowar makes good feed. 
cleanliness and hygiene of the cattle and handlers is of more importance while make milking storage and transport of milk and milk product go to the next slide the shed must be cleaned clean cleaned daily it should be spacious with adequate facilities for feeding watering and lightening lightning lighting milk processing marketing and distribution play an important role in a dairy industry an additional income can be obtained in the cattle farms from cow dung manure fuel cake and gobar gas for cooking and lighting next point is poultry farm management poultry includes number of bird species such as chicken ducks turkey and fowls which are domesticated for their egg and meat selection of proper and disease free breed suitable and safe free condition proper feed and water hygiene and health care are important requirements for poultry farm management go to next slide on the basis of their origin different types of poultry breed breeds are american breeds plymouth rock new hampshire rody island red asiatic breed are brahma cochin and langshan Mediterra mediterranean breed are leghorn minorca english breeds includes astralorp indian breeds are chittagong asil brahma and kadaknath leghorn is best layer for eggs while plymouth rock rody island red asil brahma and kadaknath are preferred as broilers for meat management of layers requires purchase a purchase of high yielding chicken well ventilated farms proper feed dipping lighting waterer sanitation cooling and vaccination management of broilers requires selection of breed housing temperature ventilation lighting floor space and a broiler feed go to next slide different types of poultry diseases are here we see different types of poultry diseases that is viral disease like rani khet bronchitis avian influenza that is the bird flu etc few year back bird flu have seriously influenced the poultry farming and human infection too bacterial diseases mainly includes pylorum cholera typhoid tb crd chronic respiratory disease enteritis etc fungal diseases are aspergillosis favus and thrush parasitic diseases includes lice infection roundworm sickle worm infections etc protozoan diseases example cockidiosis is a protozoan disease go to next slide <coughs> in this slide we see apiculture or a bee keeping apiculture or bee keeping deals with an artificial rearing of honey bees to obtain bee products like honey wax 
pollens bivinum propolis that is the blue the big blue and a royal jelly as well as a pollinating agents for crop plants honey is a food of a high nutritive value and also finds uses in the indigenous indigenous system of a medicines the four species of honey bees commonly found in a india that is these are apis dorsata that is a rock bee or a wild bee apis floria little bee apis mellifera that is a european bee and apis indica that is a indian bee go to next slide we see here we see here bee hive go to next slide here we see honey bees this is the worker this is the queen and this is the drone worker is a sterile female queen is a fertile female and a drone is a haploid male go to uh, this is worker queen drone these honey bees are apis mellifera go to next slide polymorphism in a honey bee we see in this point bee keeping is a practiced in the areas where sufficient wild shrubs fruit or cards and cultivated crops are present bee keeping requires the equipments like bee hive box with comb foundation sheets bee wells smoker bee brush gloves gum shoes uncapping knife swarm net queen excluder overall hive tools these are the hive tools artificial bee hive in this point we see for successful bee keeping one must be familiar with the habits of bees selection of suitable location catching and hiving of swarms management of hives during different seasons handling and collection of honey bee wax and other products periodic inspection for cleanliness of hive boxes activity of bees and queen condition of brood provision of water is a very much necessary bee keeping in the crop field of a sunflower mustard safflower chili cabbage cucumber legumes fruits like apple mango citrus etc help in increasing the productivity of honey as well as crop tremendously go to next slide here we can see artificial bee hive <clears throat> next point is fishery in fishery fishery is a branch of applied biology which deals with the catching processing fish farming and marketing of fish and other useful aquatic animals such as prawns lobster oyster mussel and crabs three division of fishery are inland fishery marine fishery and estuarian estuarian fishery inland fishery includes culturing and capturing of fish from fresh water bodies like ponds lakes dams and river inland aquatic area of our country covers about 40 to 50 lakh acres inland fishery means generally fresh water fishery 
द कॉमन फ्रेश वॉटर फिश आर लेबियो रोहिटा दैट इज रोहू कटला सिरीना मृगाला दैट इज द मृगाला एंड अदर कप्स हियर वी कैन सी फ्रेश वॉटर फिश फॉर्म इन दिस रोहू फिश कटला फिश मृगाल फिश कॉमन कार्प ग्रास कार्प सिल्वर कार्प Go to next slide. Marine fishery includes capture of fish from sea water. The common marine fish are a harpedon, that is the bombay duck, sardinella, that is the sardine, ristriliger, that is the mackerel, and a stromatius, that is the pomfret. Eustarian fishery includes capture of fish from a <coughs> stuary. Stuary is a place where a river meets the sea. Example: Sundarban area in a West Bengal. Go to next slide. The common factors for the maintenance of a fish farm includes selection of a suitable site. excavation of ponds requirement of a hatchery tank nursery tank rearing tank stocking tank and ponds water source manures supplementary feed etc the culture fishery may be monoculture only one species monoculture means only one species or a polyculture polyculture means many species type <coughs> after catching the fishes fish spoilage is prevented by different preservation method like chilling freezing freeze drying sun drying smoke drying salting and canning go to next slide the culture fishery may be monoculture or a polyculture after catching the fishes fish spoilage is prevented by different preservation method like chilling freezing freeze drying sun drying smoke drying salting and canning they are fish oil fish meal fertilizers fish gono fish glue and is in a glass go to next slide these by products are widely used in paints soaps oils and a medicine prawns and lobsters have a market value all over the world fishery provides good jobs opportunities and self employment to many people next point is a sericulture sericulture means sericulture is the branch of a applied zoology which deals with rearing of a silk worm and the production of a silk like other farming sericulture also involves skill and a scientific knowledge for a rearing and a development it is the oldest business and a large number of families are associated with the production of a silk in india disabled older persons handicapped people can successfully do this job here we see life cycle of silk moth that is the mulberry silk worm here we can see this in this life cycle here we see adult female which goes on eggs on a mulberry leaves and then transferred into a larva that is the mature caterpillar and then transferred into cocoons and after breaking cocoons the adult female are produced go to next slide the best quality silk called mulberry silk is produced by silkworm bombax mori 
the quality and quantity of silk depend on the quality of mulberry leaves on which the larvae feed rearing development and looking after the silk worm involves skill and labor for a constant watch silk worm larvae may be infected by protozoans viruses and fungi Besides these ants, crows, crows, birds, and other predators are ready to attack these insects. Hence, the cages of these larvae must be managed to prevent predator attack. Go to next slide. Next point is a lac culture. Lac is produced by an insect, Trachardia laca, which is a quite a small in size and a colonial in habit resin like substance is uh, produced by dermal gland glands of a female lac insect insect feeds on a succulent twigs of a certain plants like bear peepal palus kusum babul etc and secretes pink colored resin that hardens on a coming in a contact with air forming lac it is a produced on a large scale all over india natural lac is always contaminated go to next slide here shellac is a pure form of a lac obtained by washing and filtering Lac insect is a native of India and our share is 85% of total lac produced in the world. Products of lac play a vital role in the economy of the farmers. Lac is used in bangles, toys, woodwork, inks, mirrors, etc. Production of lac requires an artificial inoculation of plants which give better and regular supply of good quality and quantity of lacs. Here we see life cycle of a lac insect. Here we see fertilization, egg laying process end of egg laying that is the yellow spots indicates shrinking of female then hatching of eggs orange spots indicates eggs are about to hatch here larvae also called as a crawlers larvae settling on the host that is the pupa and then male comes out from anal operculum and Incomplete metamorphosis that is the adult female, female. We can see here adult male that is complete metamorphosis. We can see here in the adult male and in adult female incomplete metamorphosis. See here. Go to next slide. Here our third lecture is completed. Thank you.